Let's go and interrogate this guy, because I believe that's our current step. The main game. I don't care about finding the horse. I have better things to do than find the stupid horse in the middle of the forest. He's probably dead anyway. Uh, where are we going in here? I wonder how that body's doing. Watch Brad, come on, get it. Are we going inside here? No. Uh, what? It's below me, isn't it? But how do you get below me? You don't need to do it, do you? Didn't think so. Uh... Excuse me, sir. I just want to go downstairs. Carrots and apples, pick today to put a smile on. Carrots and apples. Question Isaac of Renau. Put my torch away. What does that sound? Probably. Maybe he got up on his own and walked out? I don't know. What was that noise? Okay, we're outside. Um. Are the locks too difficult? Well, our lock picked his lock. Because why not? I'm alright. About you, you're easy. That's fine. We all are in this day and age. Thank you for the skill. I don't even need to see what's inside. We're okay. Henry. Hi. I'm in the wrong house. I'm gonna go outside. Sheepskin. Could it be below me? I highly doubt it. Like, actually, like, off that cliff? There's no way. Any other rooms I haven't been in over here? Could I just, like, talk to the bailiff? I, I don't know. I don't see anything. Oh, he's done it. Guard. Well, oh, finally, yes, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It yeah, but I feel you're going to be flying me. That it 
might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the Crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. It's your crimes against the King I'm worried about. The King you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who... I forget what we were doing. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric, Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for Thank the you. moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. All right, Mr. Edzig, this clown wants you to pardon him. With the cost of loyalty. Can I just, like, kill Radzig and then don his armor and become Radzig? We're the same haircut, kind of. Are you in this tower?
I heard him below me, I think. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, there you are. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric. Can we talk out of this stairwell? And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm... I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, Excuse sir. me, village lad. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. So don't huh? bring it up. You That's all. Bloodshed. Why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. Don't ye off. Back to Sasso. Huh? Sorry, I tried. And as we first travel, I will be a second. How do you first travel this video game? To Sasso.
set over here. I thought we were outside of Rate. I'm gonna say, if I messed up at Rate, we got stopped by an evil doer, and I wasn't killed. But nope, we're at actually the monastery, so that's surprising. Yeet. 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 And we made it, okay. Somehow. Hello, innkeeper. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You can, because I'm a knight. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. If they come here to drink, maybe. But I won't aid you in any mischief. You haven't heard talk of uh, any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things. But I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Aye, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye, or them that's not in bailiff's good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink, or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern, but they raised such a commotion. Like I went and complained, me. and a town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. I don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? Um, I, I've not got the slightest inkling. I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. Thank you, Inky. Thank you, not old man. All. No, I'm okay. Bye. Someone just chopped a dice. Come on, bud. Get going. We're gonna buy a dog. This is DLC, maybe. I don't know. Skirt. Skirt. Watch it. Man. That's right. I pass the bailiff, or are you the bailiff? Who's the bailiff? Grave digger. What do you mean, will I, I never? Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti knacker in. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man, not always honest. But decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what has been happening here lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon. But as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? 
What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and the bitch went for him. Oh, Didn't was we some do that? Bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Thank you. Very well. Been a pleasure. Ask the wounded loudmouth about the crypts. Let's talk to the bailiff first, huh? It's probably you know that little one. weirdo. That's Miller Simon. I mean, not because I don't want to leave and come back. Yeah. So we're gonna go talk to the loudmouth who got bit by a dog. He was treated for a broken leg. Yeah. Johanka. Take care. Thomas? What? What the? I see you look much better. No, you're somebody else. I feel much better. Then I heard. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, Thomas is my name. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Your honker! I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you oh, I got the metal already. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? God be with you. God be with you. I didn't mean to skip the dialogue, but I typically do skip the very. Uh, I typically I skip the periods when you fin they finish the sentence. That was just too late. Go to the Crim's meeting place and try to find out from them the location of the camp. Where can I go in at? I could have sworn the whole church was off limits. Well, this is not the monastery, but the actual church down in Sasso. I believe it's actually that. Makes more sense, actually. There's one over here, right? Hopefully. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Alright, horsey. Yeah! 
That's only the tower, right? We're gonna do that. We just gotta wait here, right? Until nighttime? I think. I'll give this a try. You know what I wanted to check out? Oh. Uh, sorry, I got, a, I got a message from Xbox about Black Desert. I was like, what is this garbage? It's just garbage. Um, IMDB, who is the voice actor from my main man, Henry? I don't know why I bother with the app. I feel like it's like 10 times slower, but... Kingdom come... Deliverance. Plus, I also fat finger my, on my uh, phone keyboard. I feel like keyboard's too small. Tom McKay. He even looks like Henry, dude. What? It's the hair that's different, but... He's in nothing else I know. <laughs> Trilling through, it's nothing. I think, therefore, I am. Tom McKay, everybody. Peter, you still here? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. What? So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? You don't scare me. Just whatever you do to not mention Sir Edzig. Who don't mind getting their hands dirty? Is that so? Excuse me, uh, Peter? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. Howdy. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. Oh, has he, he now? Won't go wrong with me. He's delirious. High under whatever we gave him. 14 months ago in this game. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Okay, what is it? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? How is it going? with something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who is Pius? Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway. Well, who he is does help me figure out what it, where he is. Pius was one of his. But he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money. Ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. Okay, where is he? Find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable. He's already dead. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. Uh, what do you like? recognize pious? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? Okay. What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. 
Don't you have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself? Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. I have more wine on my horse than they have in this whole village. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other we ideas there, besides secret I think. passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Uh, I'll do it. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice My and God. big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to win off, alright? Goodbye. Then I just like fight four of you to the death and the winner can take me to your leader. Bye. I'm an actual brick wall. Hey. Is that a key to the monastery? You just hooked me up. Speech. Oh, it's to get out of... Okay. You can't beat him. Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Talk to the young man who's supposed to enter the monastery into the monastery as a novice. All Zerzig with the bandits want you to do. You can run back to Zerzig? I'd rather not. Please, just go over the wall. <laughs> ah, come on. You can do it. Oh my goodness. That's the main thing. Let's just go there now. Plus, I'll get me out of the city. That's how I see it. Boo doo 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 boo. I'm going to avoid because it's a waste of time. Uh, I will avoid. Thank you.
Alright. So Radzig, if you could. Then you were gonna just talk to the Radzig. I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then we'll switch over to Outer Worlds, probably. Are you in bed? Who are you? Townsman. Just walk around here like it's your job? Mr. Radzig, can I come in? Mr. Radzig, where are you? Are you downstairs? This is probably your room, isn't it? I'm, I'm not gonna lockpick. Uh, okay, we're gonna wait. That was 5 a.m. Well, I just went to see. Hmm. Uh, the other world or something else? Destiny. Something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Boo doo 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 bum 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 bum. Darby Dragons. What happened for to get early access to the all new eight? Uh, this is a new Hearthstone update. Hello, sir. Um, Radzig has moved. So we have a new side quest inside of here, I think. Or downstairs. Maybe Hans. I don't know. Is that Hans' room? Where's the tower again, aren't you? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone sleeps till 9 p.m. Radzig, if you would, sir. Apparently, I gotta run to you every time I have an issue. The Lord be praised. What? Uh, sir, investigation. this investigation into the Neuhof massacre. It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhof. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhof too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. Okay. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get I'm a there, genius. Then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. God be with you. Okay, well, you will continue more of this on Monday. Excuse me, Redzig. Royalty's coming through. Now, is that Hans? I the frat is the third floor here. Jeffrey! I'm glad you're here, Henry. What's happening, sir? Uncle Sahanush sent for me. No doubt he wants to give me another ear bashing about the error of my ways. And he said to bring you two. Sorry, Sir Hans, but I'd say you have it coming. What? 
I understand how Sir Hannes feels about your boozing and whoring. He's just worried about you. I see. And if you're so concerned about my moral welfare, why did you join me, Your Holiness? Well, someone has to keep an eye on you. As I recall, you were mostly keeping an eye on your tankard. But if you really want to watch out for me, now's the time. You'll come with me to see Uncle. We have fun here. All right. We should get going then, shouldn't we, Sir Hans? The sooner we get it over and done with, the better. I suppose so. Don't teleport me. Right away. I put some of my old clothes in a trunk for you. I don't want you making me look bad in front of Hanush. So go I'm and get knight. dressed up before we head off. And my jacket is Sir Hanush's, I believe. Thanks, Sir Hans. I'll go and get changed now. And that'll happen next time. Uh, save and exit, and we'll be back in like a half hour -ish. Depends. We'll probably just... If it's just me, we'll just do the other worlds for like the rest of the night, I guess. Uh, we'll see. I will be back.